As I they talk to you now, <laughs> they said that these Chinese people that seized our private jet earlier. Those of you who doesn't know what happened in the past, you remember that the president of the country, Bola Medi Tinubu, jumped a window of a private <laughs> presidential jet when the Chinese authorities or Chinese company wanted to seize the private jet because of the the, the contract they breached in Nigeria. So matter never end. So before we knew it, we thought that the whole case have ended and they are trying to settle the whole thing and um, all that. So you know everybody don't come on mind. In fact, I've even given up and say okay, oh, they will sort themselves out gradually. But <clears throat> lo and behold, the matter has not ended. As I speak to you now, they say that Chinese have seized another property. Look at what we have here. He says that these Chinese investors who were chased away from Nigeria, who were humiliated, arrested, and beaten, say these people have, you know, secured court injunction to seize several properties, several Nigerian properties. I say, mm. <laughs> now we have a clue on what to do to Nigeria. So our IPOB members, and I'm going to say, Mazen and Dekano has been granted, um, you, you know, uh, um, fine against the Nigerian government. They said the Nigerian government should pay certain money, certain amount of money to Mazen and Dekano, which they have failed to pay. So I think the right thing is for IPOB to go outside the country and file a legal suit against the country. Then from there, <laughs> when I go to seize private jet. And the day we will not the season, I know IPOB now, they will not just come and say, this one we caught. They say, oh, we have seized it. Go and pack it there. Lie, lie. You will see. <laughs> they will make sure that Tinubu is inside. <laughs> the day they will seize the private, the private jet, they will make sure Tinubu is inside. They will seize both Tinubu. <laughs> I beg, I no one laughs. Huh? But it's funny. But it's serious. Uh, is as serious as it can get. Chinese company takes over Nigeria's guest house or houses in Liverpool in a bid to recover $70 million arbitration award. Wow. So they have given awards of $70 million. Chai. This Chinese company really know. Oh, I wish no more now can you this money. $70 million. Omo. <laughs> A Chinese investment group is preparing to sell two residential properties in Liverpool, UK, confiscated from Nigeria to recover up to $70 million, $70 million in arbitration awards. Zongchang Fengcheng, Zongchang Fengcheng Industrial Investment Limited seized the buildings after Nigeria failed to settle a 2021 arbitration judgment people's gazette report now the properties located at 15 airport hall road road and beach lodge 49 cadestones road we are taken by zongshang in june 2024 it even passed two months ago <laughs> this action followed a december 2021 british court order permitting the company to seize nigerian asset in the UK, as the 70 million US dollars payment remains outstanding, with a 2% monthly in interest incurring, occurring, sorry. Zhoshang was awarded 55,675 no million dollars, yeah, in compensation. Plus nine nine million four hundred thousand dollars in interest, and two million eight hundred and sixty four thousand four hundred and forty five dollars in cost as of March twenty six two thousand and twenty one, due to a dispute involving Ogun State. The company alleged that Ogun State violated a two thousand and one trade treaty by rescinding its right to a free trade zone in 2016. The firm took Nigeria to arbitration in the UK in 2018, claiming that federal bodies like the police and immigration were used 
by Ogun State against them without due process. Voila! Two Zhongshang executives were expelled from Nigeria in 2016, with one allegedly detained and tortured by the Nigerian police. <laughs> you see this Nigeria police, anywhere they will not see, I go beat them, beat them, we are police. These were bidik bidik bada bada, police, DSS. Now you people thought it was Nigerians, it was all these uh, IPOB members. You people thought it was, oh, the agitators. You people thought it was NSAS protesters. You thought it was end bad governance protesters. And you, you took them to your police cell and gave them bus bus. Now you people are paying, you're not going to pay millions for this bus bus. I never see anything. The case adds to Nigeria's legal troubles following a near $11 billion arbitration decision against the country in favor of P&ID, which was later overturned due to corruption. However, Zhongshan's case appears more challenging with several European courts, including in the UK and Belgium, granting enforcement orders against Nigeria. Recently, an appellate panel in the U.S. denied Nigerian sovereign immunity over Zhongshan's recovery efforts. A consultant with Zhongshan revealed plans to list the Liverpool properties for sale, including on eBay, where the asking price could reach up to $2.2 million for both. Omo, I wish I get money now. I for just rush, go buy <laughs> I for just rush go by them. They, they lay ambush there. They went, they went to no the game. <laughs> just buy the two properties. And you know, so if I buy them now, Tinubu go to say, Oh, it is a Nigerian. It is a Nigerian. Be patriotic. I know. The day where he go just pack all those his aids and uh, all those. Uh, People where they carry from Asarok, they work all those his ministers. The day we go pack, they enter the building. I just lock door. <laughs> I just lock door and ask you whether you get up. When I go day they are pay ransom tire. Because when I don't frustrate every one of us inside this country. I don't frustrate us. Nothing where we they gain. Say, oh, as a Nigerian, this is my benefit. When I don't loot up. Go who you for there, you go, you go settle all this money when I don't resettle. Everybody benefit we were supposed to get as a countrymen and women. We know they get nothing. They say the value of both properties should be around 2.2 million dollars. So they already put together a plan to sell them to willing buyers. The consultant said under anonymity to discuss client deliberations. Some website like eBay might bring buyers faster than other methods. <laughs> Even though the properties belong to Nigeria. They were seized because they weren't listed as Nigeria's diplomatic or consular assets. The Gazette learned that those currently occupying the properties had no ties to the Nigerian mission in the UK. It was unclear when Nigeria bought the asset, but a senior judge said its officials had regularly rented out both places to guests. So Nigeria government, they do, uh, they do eBay. When they do this uh, B and B, Airbnb, when they rent our our asset, so who is receiving the who is receiving the money, the money that you people are renting are getting from this building, they depend on the Asarok account. Hi, Chineke. Hi, in Liverpool, and some of you are in UK there suffering. I don't have COS. COS is chasing you from one place to another. I don't even have a place to stay. See our building here. They are renting it and collecting millions. Aye. According to the story, they say in her June 14, 2024 ruling, allowing Zhongshan to seize the buildings from Nigeria, Master Lisa Sullivan of the UK High Court, King's Bench Division, said the properties are currently used for the purpose of leases to residential tenants unconnected with Nigeria and its mission. Those are commercial purposes for the purpose of um, S13 bracket 4 of the SIE and therefore the enforcement against the property is not barred by state immunity. So buildings they can't touch are like the embassy or those uh, consular uh, places. The source said the sale wouldn't be done in secret 
because the Nigerian people deserve to know how much all recovered assets were being sold until the full amount had been recovered. Zoshang promised to be transparent with the sale because of the keen public interest of Nigerians in the matter, the consultant added. Sarah reporters had recently reported how same Chinese company Zoshang successfully petitioned for the seizure of three Nigerian presidential jets. The company export processing zone management contract was terminated by the Ogun state government in 2016. The jet, which are part of Nigeria's presidential air fleet, are a Dassault Falcon 7X at Le Baguette Airport in Paris, a Boeing 737 and an Airbus 330 at Basel Mohaus Airport in Switzerland, which was rec uh, recently received. The seizure is as a result of contract dispute between Zhuxiang and the Ogun state government. A French court had authorized the seizure of the three presidential jet due to the ongoing dispute between Zhuxiang, a Chinese company, and the Ogun state government. The seizure is as a result of government's failure to honor a $74.5 million award granted to Zhuxiang by an independent arbitral tribunal chaired by the former president of the UK Supreme Court. On a thing say na Amazon and the Kano case, we na get do papa nya nya. Even after court has ruled, release him and let him go. Una go still can release, can re rule, can do on a hanky panky. Now na don't meet on a match now for for France, for Paris, and now for UK. Muna go show them, Muna go show them, say you be giant of Africa. Go show them, Tinubu, go show them. And they wait the day where I go here say they don't capture the play where carry Tinubu. Because of debt, money will not be owed. They go capture on a carry on a they go where on a don't know. And that day on a eyes go open. Say, do this control where make it benefit everybody. And I say, no, we must keep looting. Look at the, the disgrace, international embarrassment that they bring to on a table. Despite the federal government's effort to resolve the issue amicably, the Ogun state government has yet to comply with the award. The court order restricts the movement, sale, or purchase of the jet until Zoshang receives the awarded amount, leaving the Nigerian government facing consequences for the actions of its substantial entity. This is a good state has caused a lot of damages to <laughs> those who voted for Tinubu say nay. Yeah. Those who voted for Tinubu say hi, hi. The highs have it. <laughs> Now let's hear from those that voted high. Oh yeah. Okay, the, the condition don't make you white now. Ah, ah, because I said I'm not white. That time, where were I now? Yeah. But now, when I see you, I will leave my house to buy because I look for people to go down. I said, I should have one shop. Say that one alive. I'm going to walk from one day to start today. This time, 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 this we are not doing Saban Sabanese. I don't have where one. I smoke care. I will do Sabanese. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Those where they do tribalism before. <laughs> he said their eyes don't open. Say they don't go do them again. Say we no verse for Lagos. Those where they do. Oh, I'm in Bolo Shinyeni. I follow Riburuku Nyeni. Uba. My eyes go. He never even open. He still day closed. They give him them. He go still betray the good people. He never open. He go sing. He go open. Wow! Before he go get sense, mad people everywhere. I beg, Mona, let me share this video. Sharp, sharp. We'll go another news.